The reactors powering the Royal Navy's fleet of nuclear submarines don't meet accepted civilian safety standards and could be at an increased risk of fatal radiation leaks. That is according to a heavily censored safety report declassified by the Ministry of Defence and seen by Channel 4 News. It says the reactors are potentially vulnerable to nuclear accidents, yet the same reactors are being installed in the Navy's new 10 billion fleet of astute class submarines and possibly those destined to carry Trident missiles in future. Our science correspondent Tom Clark has the details. This is Britain's Trident nuclear missile system. The proposed upgrade in 2028 depends not just on replacing these warheads, but the submarines that carry them. But is Britain's nuclear submarine technology up to the task? Perhaps not, according to an internal MOD document seen by Channel 4 News. The nuclear reactors we currently use could be more vulnerable to fatal radiation leaks than alternative designs. Not good in a warship. After all, a submarine is a fighting battleship. It expects sometime during its life to actually run into a hostile climate. If it does and the reactor literally shakes itself to pieces when it's under attack, then that would be a disaster. The heavily redacted document was written by the MOD's internal Defence Nuclear Safety Regulator in 2009 and released under freedom of information laws. In it, the regulator found that current UK practice falls significantly short of benchmarked relevant good practice and that the reactors that power the submarines are potentially vulnerable to a structural failure in the primary circuit. That could lead to a release of highly radioactive fission products outside the reactor core. A nuclear leak at sea would be fatal to anyone exposed. But the document also suggests that the steps needed to deal with a major leak might prevent the sub from surfacing, leading to multiple fatalities. The documents reveal a way of limiting these risks is an improved reactor design. Our current Trident subs use a reactor called PWR2, Channel 4 News understands it has a reactor core at the middle and equipment like steam generators used to power turbines are then built around that. But an improved design called PWR3 incorporates much of that equipment into the reactor housing itself. Based on an American concept, this reactor could be safer, especially under attack. But what they're doing is drawing in all the bits and pieces, the various components, the steam raising components, into the central reactor. That means the advantage is that there's less parts to shake about when the submarine receives a shock load like a depth charge going off near it. The declassified document indicates that doubts over the safest reactor to choose could be to blame for the major delays deciding on how to replace Trident, delays that have cost £260 million. And what about the Navy's new £10 billion astute class of submarine? All of them will be equipped with the PWR2 reactor. In a statement, the Ministry of Defence told Channel 4 News that all of their nuclear reactors meet the strict safety requirements set by their regulator. But nuclear submarines are designed with a 30 to 40 year lifespan. Any decision they make now about what is the safest nuclear reactor to power them is one that the Royal Navy will have to live with for a very long time to come. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News at the Ministry of Defence.